Greetings friends. Today we are going to learn how we can deploy our Flask app onto this amazing deployment service that's called Zeet. Zeet is by far the best and the simplest deployment service that I have found and will definitely recommend it to any beginners who might be using it. To test it out, I have created this Flask app which as you can see is fairly simple. In fact, I'll say that it is the most basic Flask app that anyone can create. So let's commit our changes into the repository. For this, I will be using Git desktop, but feel free to choose a Git CLI according to your preference. As you can see, I have pushed the changes into the Git repository. The next thing that I will do is open my favorite browser and enter the following link, which is zeet.co slash r slash cipher. You can visit zeet.co as well, but using this link, you can support our channel and allow us to keep creating these videos for you for free. Once this is done, I'll simply add a project and then since I'm using a GitHub repository, choose GitHub. Here, an option for the repositories will be available to me. Since the repository name for my project is Zeet Flask, I'll simply use it and then give a project name of my choosing. You can left it to default as well, but I'll use the name Zeet Flask. Once that is done, I'll simply continue and then give the needed commands. As we know that we might need to build our project using the requirements.txt file and run the project using index.py file. So let's just save the request and see what the result is. The build might take about a minute to complete according to the size of your project. So I'll simply skip ahead a few seconds right now. Once the build is finished, the project will automatically de deploy to a default URL, which you of course can change in the settings using the custom domain. So let's see what's the status of deployment. As we can see, our project was successfully deployed, but right now the project won't be working. So let's see what the reason is. I'll simply visit the link and see that there is a message of 404 not found. This is because when you are deploying a project on the web, you need to put the IP address as 0.0.0. .0. And we have not specified that anywhere. So let's do that. I have also set debug is equal to false to simply make the project a bit more secure. So I'll save it and then push the changes once again. Once the changes are complete, you will see that the project will automatically start to build itself while not removing the already deployed project. This is a great feature in Zeet that allows us to implement continuous implementation, continuous deployment. However, if you were to go here and refresh, the project will still not load. So let's see how we can fix this. For this, we will simply add the port which on which our project is running. If you are unsure on what port your project is running, you can simply check the logs and see it here. As you can see, the project is currently running on port 5000. So we will go to setting and add the port and then simply save it. Once that is done, you can go back and see that the project will start to deploy on its own. You will also notice that this time the project was built and deployed quite quickly. Here we go. As you can see that the Flask app was successfully deployed onto the server quite quickly and I will definitely recommend you to use it. Once again, I would like to point out that if, if you're using Zeet, I will 
request you to use the following url so that you can support the channel as well with that i'll end this video thank you